guys. I got this little art impression stamp set in the other day. It is so stinking cute. It's called Get Well. It has this funny little nurse holding her little syringe. This little woman that I'm assuming is the wife of this little guy who's sitting in the um, hospital gown with his little hiney out. Then you have a bottle of happy pills and a bottle of chill pills. And then the sentiments are, the nice nurse is on vacation, get well soon. This says get well soon, the soon is marked out and says now. Sending a little laughter is the best medicine. Get well soon, we can't cover your back forever. Hope you'll soon be fully re covered <laughs> and then this one I find hysterical that's why they call it I see you with his little hiney out I've wanted this stamp set for a really long time so I finally just went ahead and ordered it and I stamped out the little nurse and the little guy with his hiney out and I went ahead and colored it because I color slowly I'm not a colorist I'm not an artist, so I just took my time coloring it yesterday, and I had to give her some really rosy cheeks and purple eyeshadow. I don't know why I had to with her big old 80s style earrings, but I had to. So, I still need to stamp a sentiment on here. I went around the edges with Distress Ink that is Chipped Sapphire. And then I have this star paper that I've been looking for a reason to use that came from, uh, where is it at? This little paper pad from Joanne Fabric. It's this one here. On here it looks kind of green, but it's really a teal blue. Yeah, more of a teal blue. And then I also have some pre-made card bases that I still am using and I need to use up. So I got this one out. It's gray. I went ahead and used it because I used a lot of gray in her hair, on the table, on the floor, around her white dress. So I figured, why not? I could put it directly down on there. It would look perfectly fine. But if you've been around here a while, you know that I kind of like to add a whole lot of matte. So, my card base is a standard A2 size. It is 5.5 by 8.5, scored at 4 and a quarter. I have two mats that are going to go on the inside. The first one is cut at 4 and 8 by 5 and 3 eighths. The second one is cut at 4 by 5 and an eighth. Then on the outside, I have the one mat and then this one. The first one's cut at 4 and a quarter by 5.5. And then the second one is cut at four by five and a quarter. On the inside, well, wait a minute. On the outside, hmm. I think I'm going to do the hopefully you'll be recovered, fully recovered. Hopefully you'll soon be fully recovered. I don't even know what that little thing goes to. And then on the inside, I want to do one of these little guys. I might do both. And then the sentiment, sending a little laughter is the best medicine. I think that's what I'll do. So, let's go ahead and stamp that out. I'm going to use this Ranger all-purpose ink pad that I got from Tuesday morning sometime back in denim. I really like this color. All right. Whoops. Got the wrong one out. But I figured if I went ahead and did that stamping and did the coloring on it, it would go make it go by faster since I tend to talk too much. We all kind of know that by now. 
Oh my goodness, I just stuck my finger right in that. And I made a mess of it. That's cute. I haven't been able to do any editing lately because I'm having trouble with my loop, my new laptop. What is so bizarre is my old laptop, I had it for years, literally years. Never had any problems out of it. And, you know, it just kind of got old. And it slowed down quite a bit. But I never had any trouble with it. And I just decided since my son went to work for the company that he went to work for, which, you know, it's not my place to give out that information, that I'd go ahead and, it's obviously a computer company, I decided I'd go ahead and buy a new laptop. Um, it had a 30, gig, 30 or 32 gigabyte hard drive in it, and Windows is eating up literally 85% of that hard drive. So, we went ahead and got a new hard drive for it. That's a 500 gigabyte. And it, I put that on crooked. How crooked is it? That's not too bad. The the hard drive that we ordered, you would you can look at it and see that it's a hard drive. The hard drive that's in it is more like a memory card. It's like this size. So I have to order the cables and a cage for the hard drive and a few other things before I can put that in there. And then I have used Windows Movie Maker for years because that's what I'm most comfortable with. And now it's no longer supported by Microsoft, so you can't download it. And my son has already removed it from my new laptop. It's just kind of been a, a whole ordeal. So I've had trouble, and I haven't been able to edit and I have kind of a backlog because I've still been filming. I'm going to go ahead and stamp these in blue as well. And I'm just going to do the happy pills. That's cute. And I figure, I don't know why I did this this way. I keep forgetting that I learned a really clever tip from one of the women that I watch, and I keep forgetting to implement it. I'll try and remember to do it so I can show you guys, just in case you guys don't follow the same people. There we go. I watch a woman who has a, a channel called Lost in Paper. Her name is Therese. She's from Australia. And when she uses this kind of two-sided tape, what she does, to, just in case she has to lift something back up, is she takes her uh, release paper and kind of releases just a small portion of it. on all four sides about like that so that you have these little flappy things and then she puts it where she wants it Nope. 
too far over. Oh my. There we go. Whoops. Peel that off there. And then she just takes them off like that and kind of flattens it out. Clever, right? Now we have this guy. And since I have these two little pieces in the middle of this one, I'm going to go ahead and take those all the way off. We keep getting telemarketer calls at our home, and they are driving me insane. And when you tell them that you're not interested, also, we get these calls all the time. Oh, stop. About our credit card interests. I don't know if you guys get those same type of calls, but they call here all the time saying they they can lower our credit card interest. Well, first off, they don't have access to that kind of information because if they did, they'd know that we don't have any credit cards. We're a family that would prefer to pay cash or save up until we have the exact amount of money that we need to pay for whatever it is that we want to pay for. And when you tell them that, it's like they don't even hear you. They just keep calling. But the other day I, they called and I flat out told them, look, again, for the nine millionth time, we do not today... We did not yesterday, we will not tomorrow have credit cards. Please stop calling us. I no more hung up my home phone than they called my cell phone. Same exact phone number, same exact message. I was like, really? Come on. So I told them the same exact thing. And we're on a do not call list. I don't know how they can keep calling the way they do. It's to the point now, I just soon get rid of my home phone. I mean, we're not paying a whole lot to have it, but we've had it for so many years that we've just kept it, you know? This needs to go all the way over to the edge. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What in the world if I got on the TV? There. That's cute. Let's see. I don't think I put hearts on my last two cards. I don't know how I managed to forget that. That's cute. I love this little stamp set. I think it's adorable. Again, it's by Art Impressions. I have seen it at Joanne Fabric and also at Michael's. And you can get it online. But it's the the name of it is Get Well. But I think it's just stinking adorable.
You guys let me know what you think. Thanks for spending a little bit of time with me. I certainly appreciate it. I hope you guys have a great day and a glorious tomorrow. Bye, guys.